Hi guys, first of all, please check my description box for all the details. I am going to leave the、uh, information you need there. Today, I am going to show you how to knit this fisherman rib stitch hat.、Um, this looks exactly like brioche knitting, and I believe this is. Brioche knitting, but much easier way. Okay,、uh, my swatch and gauge is、uh, I have 16 stitches and 24 rows, which is a 4 by 4 square. Let's do the math. I open up my math gauge template.、Um, if you have this, you don't have to do any math at all. And if you don't have it, unfortunately, you have to do Your math all by yourself, and I am going to leave how to do your math in my description box. So, if you follow my written instruction, you should be able to find out the、uh, you know your cast on number. It's just a ratio math, but a lot of people don't like math, so I made you guys easier, which is this.、Uh, Template, and if you want to buy this, I also put the link, and you can buy it, which is only、uh, seven Canadian dollar. It's not that much, but this is quite useful. Anyway,、uh, let's talk about my cast on number. First of all, I made the uh, 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 swatch, you know, a little bigger than four. Inch by four inch,、uh, which means ten centimeter by ten centimeter. Same thing, and、uh, I have sixteen stitches and twenty four rows. Okay, this time you need row count as well. Okay, I'll talk about it later. And here,、uh, number four, your gauge was four inch. If you're using, you know,、uh, centimeter, you just put ten, okay? And for height is four inch, and I have sixteen stitches and twenty four rows, which is in this four by four inch square, okay? And now I want to find out my cast on number, which is around my head, right? So I measure my Uh, head the circumference, and it's actually twenty two inches. However, okay, this fisherman rib is very stretchy. So when I actually make the swatch and when I count the、uh, stitches, I stretch them out a little bit, then count because if you don't stretch the、uh, the You know your swatch at all, which means you will have many more、uh, stitch count. Then you knit the、uh, the the hat based on your you know not stretched you know gauge. It's gonna be very big, okay. So the key is when you count. The、uh, stitch count, you kind of have to stretch, stretch the、uh, swatch. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and also, I again my measurement was 22, right? But for just in case, my width for cast on is 21, and I probably tell you、um, later. At the at very end,、uh, I should use twenty here. So the、uh, the actual head size minus two inch, or even more,、uh, because I actually used the、uh, the number eighty four to cast on. It was slightly big. You know, still, so you know it's really up to you. Anyway, so 
I put the, uh, you know, my measurement, desire measurement, 21, and uh, stitch count is 84. And I want you to pick a um, number. Well, it has to be an um, even number because it's going to be one by one ribbon. So 84 is an um, even number. So that's how I find out. Okay? So uh, let's move on to actual knitting. Okay? Cast on. I was actually supposed to make 84 cast on. However, I made 85. One extra stitch. Okay? Or your number with multiple of two. Either way, again, 84 was a little bit too big for me. So I finish cast on and connecting, slide one stitch like that and then pass the stitch behind over. So now it's already connect and I lost one stitch. So now I have 84 stitch. Put the begin marker and row number one, repeat of, knit one, and purl one. The bracket means repeat, so you just have to repeat, knit one and purl one. And please be careful, okay? Because if you make a mistake on row number one, you're going to ruin everything, okay? So start with knit and end with purl. Should be because multiple of two. There you go. This is end of row number one. So after row number one, forget about the, uh, you know, row number one because you are going to uh, repeat row number two and row number three until forever. <laughs> okay. So anyway, it's done. And row number two, the repeat of need one in previous stitch. What do you mean by that? Right. You just make... Uh, one by one, one by one ribbon. So, as you can see, you already have knit stitch. Usually, knit in current stitch, but underneath, okay, right there. You know, the stitch on the needle is current, right? So one before. So you put the needle inside of the uh, previous knit stitch. You know what I'm saying? So the first one, it's a little bit, you know, tough, but just take your time. So the repeat of knit one in previous stitch, okay, like that, and drop the stitch and regular purl. Again, knit in previous stitch right there. I just want to show you right here, okay? And then purl one. It's regular way. Okay. And um, I made a detail video about the uh, fisherman's um, rib stitch in my second channel. And I am going to leave the, uh, the uh, link down there. So. I talk about more how to distinguish which row you're in, okay, kind of thing. So, anyway, this is end of row number two, knit one in previous, and pro one. And now, row number three. Okay, so it's easy, knit regular way, and now, pro in previous stitch. Okay, that's a tab, right? So, underneath of the uh, tub, there is the uh, space, which is, you know, the, your previous stitch. And from the uh, behind, put the needle in. It's a little bit tough for me because I'm under the camera, right? So, please be patient. And that's the pearl one in previous stitch. So, knit regular and pearl in previous stitch. Okay, that's it. So row number three, 
uh, you repeat knit one and purl one in previous stitch and after that you have to repeat row number two and row number three until your desired length okay so uh, that's it and i will talk about in next clip uh, when to stop knitting okay and again if you want to uh, know more more detail about the fisherman ribs please go watch the uh, video okay okay so i knitted it about nine and a half inch and i believe this is long enough for me and how did i know this is long enough i am going to make crown which is decreasing okay this is how you think okay i will have decreasing row and not decreasing row two rows and i am going to repeat those two rows and on the decreasing row i will decrease half of the uh, stitches okay so i have 84 stitches right now and first decreasing row i'm gonna make it 42 because i'm going to decrease half and then next 21 then next 11 and 6 something like that so my decreasing row will be three or four times i haven't decided yet when i am going to stop probably 11 when i you know uh my stitch count is 11 i'm gonna stop which means my decreasing row will be you know three or four times and you have to repeat two rows right so which means i will going to knit six or eight rows from now you know what i'm saying and my six to eight rows would be one to 1.3 inches let me show you with my math okay my math gauge template i still have my uh gauge information here four inch by four inch 16 and four, uh, 24. now i want to talk about this okay again I am going to uh, decrease half stitch ev on every decreasing row, okay? And like I said, I am going to knit six more rows or eight more rows from now on. And then I have to find out uh, how many inches, you know? So um number 10 your row okay if i knit if i go if i'm going to knit six more rows okay six put six and enter it's gonna be one inch okay and if i knit eight rows from now it's gonna be 1.3 so again uh i needed it nine and a half and I'm going to add 1 or 1.3. So let's say I'm going to uh, knit 8 more rows. So I have to add about 1.5 inch. So 9.5 plus 1.5 is 11. So the, uh, the total height of your hat should be 11 inches. So that's how you decide you know this is long enough or this is not long enough or you know you want to knit maybe more you want to you know this is good something like that so uh, first of all you have to kind of find out how many rows you're going to knit based on your cast on number and then kind of you know um think backwards and added this you know height to your desire you know hat or whatever okay you know what i'm saying so that's how you decide okay so let's move on okay so i put the uh, security guideline for just in case i didn't like it so let's move on so decreasing row number one SSK, which is slip, slip, knit. 
So slip, slip, and knit. Um, the reason why I picked the uh, slip, slip, knit, because this is kind of, you know, left leaning. And I am kind of going to hide, you know, the pearl stitch. After this, it's going to be all knit stitch. And if it's brioche knitting, there's more complicated decreasing method. But I didn't want to use that method because this is, you know, easy brioche look like knitting, you know. So a lot of people don't like brioche because it's very complicated, but this way, it looks exactly like brioche, but the knitting is so easy. So uh, decreasing row, just SSK, one round, one round, okay? And this is end of the, uh, the decreasing row number one, SSK every stitch. And then row number two, no decreasing, which is all knit. Okay, and then repeat row number one and row number two until your desired stitch count. Usually 5 to 12. The reason why 5 to 12, if you have more stitch, uh, it's, it's hard for you to close up on top of your head. As, you know, um, depend on your, uh, what is that, the, the yarn, you know. If you're using much thinner yarn, you know, you can have more stitch to close. You know what I'm saying? So I think I have 11 stitches on the needle. And I believe I can close, you know, perfectly. So whenever I reach the, uh, you know, um, 11 stitches total, you know, I didn't even knit the uh, row number two and I just close you know with the uh, tapestry needle like that there you go again um, if you want to knit longer than you know this uh, this is how you do it uh, row number one decreasing which is SSK and row number two and row number three should be all knit so you just you repeat three rows. Then you will um, have a little longer, you know, crown. You know what I'm saying? But you have to find out um, how many rows and find out the height from those row count. Okay. So again, this fisherman's uh, rib stitch are very thick. And exactly like a uh, brioche so it's so stretchy 84 cast on with my uh, swatch engage slightly too big I could down to maybe 84 you know still beginning so it's really up to you you know how you want it uh, make sure um, you stretch your gauge, the swatch, and count. Okay? Enjoy meeting. Bye for now.